things with care. Let me handle your things with care. Your presentation this morning was, to put it plainly, abysmal. Please. Do not interrupt me. What? You know him? Wait, what? Well, guys, I think she needs to hear it from us. Zuri, you're back. Asshole. Fresh fish. <laughs> Why are you doing like this? Not the Lagos that we're living in. Do you want everybody to know that we're broke? Let me introduce to you the never dead lifestyle. About turn forward march. Again. Quite trouble. Trying to do my morning devotion. Goodbye. Don't give me your number. Just give me your account number. Let me appreciate your beauty. My account number? Yeah. It's time for me to chase my dream of football. You can't get in my way. The boy, you too. Why are you now leaving emojis on that Chinasa's Instagram? See, I know what is your problem. You don't want my son to go out and progress, Abby. You have failed. Oh, she. Begging your friends for money. Nope. Hi, people. Welcome to yet another amazing time with me. My name is Chacha Wabara. And if you haven't subscribed, do hit on the subscribe button. Turn off your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come up. Thank you so much for joining me. In case this is your first time, you're going to have an amazing time with me. So just jump in here. Let's review the movie. The Smart Money Woman is a 2020 Nigerian drama series it's so amazing and like actually these are nigerian ladies pulling this off and the directing the production team was amazing i knew they were sponsors of this movie but there are a lot of sponsors of different movies that are still not as brilliant as the smart money woman but hold on a minute this smart money woman has amazing actors and actresses like asi godaro inidima okoje kemi lala akindoju Tony Tones, Ebeniza Enno, Esso, Okolocha, DK, Patrick Diabwa, Karibi Fibara, Temisa Emmanuel, and Timini Ebosu. This drama series, it has um, seven episodes, it's a must see. First of all, it talks about the independent woman or any woman, don't get me wrong, anyone at all, you know, and their finances, your financial living, your financial responsibility i'm not even saying it the right way it talks about your financial planning you know how you plan your finances how do you get by with your finances even with a small job even with an okay job or with a business or a high flying job it showed different ladies even with their high flying jobs going broke you know not being able to explain how they spend their money or where their money is going to um, it showed a lot of financial choices financial decisions we make that put us in trouble or we make that give us satisfaction in the end i think it, it really rang real and true for me because um like for three two years you know i noticed that i was making money and the money was just coming and going and i just couldn't account for how the money was being spent it actually gave me sleepless nights it actually made me question myself and i was like am i working and earning for unknown things to take the money and i became resentful like i was wondering where is my money going to? watching this drama series was illuminating it was it was educating it was amazing as much as it was illuminating and educating and leading it was entertaining it was <laughs> i don't know well I, I don't even know how to explain it but it, it's something it's a movie it's a drama that everyone needs to see and it's amazing this is the first nigerian 
drama or Nigerian movie that I am rating a 10 over 10 because it was beyond me. You know, I've seen brilliant women interpret their roles in a way they ought to interpret their roles. I had absolutely no problem with Osa Sikodaro. She was she she brought it. I love her dress sense by the first time I'm seeing I'm seeing Osa Sikodaro acting, which was really brilliant. But it was the first time I was, you know, I felt this kingship. These ladies, even though they've been acting together or you know, they've come across each other in different movies and all that, the way they projected their roles made it seem like they've been friends right from their childhood that's how amazing their roles were if you ask me when the drama ended i was like oh my god i also loved timini's role there most times i don't like timini in his role i think i'm a little bit biased i don't know i don't know i don't know but you see this one timini was amazing timini is getting better by the day i must tell you i also loved Haribi fubara's role he was amazing in his acting. He's always amazing. Any role you give to him, especially these husband roles, he's so good at it. And I'm loving the view of Osasi Godaro. He really projected it. He really interpreted his role. This is by far the, the most legit TV drama Nigerian production that I have seen. If all Nigerian movies were like this, all Nigerian drama series or anyone were like this, I wouldn't be complaining. I would not even complain plain one day. This is something that I am so proud of. As I, as I was watching them, I got so proud. It was like it was me in there. I associated with what they were seeing, their roles, and I could understand it because I knew where they were coming from. These struggles are legit real. Like I was telling you about my financial struggles. So I was so upset. So watching it is like, oh my God, oh my God, I need to take this home. I need to take this home. So it was amazing. I also loved the role of their friend, the high-rising lawyer who a strong front but her marriage was nothing to write home about and how she was struggling to make her marriage work and um, I loved the support of friends with friends like that who needs anyone they were so supportive of each other no envy no bad vibes nothing and I'll be rating this movie a 10 over 10 like I said if you haven't seen this drama seven episodes you don't even know when the seven episodes comes and goes like it's so interesting I was so mad just seven episodes you know and it ended well on point everything was done till the end everything was perfect clear you know like you know when they're using ruler to measure something nothing like eh but eh but and their, their dressing was crazy crazy you know you know when you dress well when you dress well the their dressing was off the hook especially for Osasi Godara or their, I'm even looking at their clothes I copied a lot I had a lot I have a lot of screenshots it was amazing amazing okay the director Bumi Ajaki she was wonderful I think I need to now look out for her movies because she was awesome in the movie as in her movie the directing was off the hook you know which brings me to the end of this review up there you see my Korean drama review my Nigerian drama review my Chinese drama review and my movie reviews okay and do come back next time and don't forget to hit on the subscribe button turn up your post notifications i'll see you next time thank you for watching bye bye